Welcome to Deep Friday. On today's episode, we are deep frying a local burger joint known as Webley's. There's not an H in that name. I don't know why I said it. Webley's. But that's how I prefer it. So from now on, Webley's. And we went down to Webley's and we picked up the double bacon cheeseburger. We tried this uh, prior to filming this episode. It turned out to be a pretty, you know, decent little, very homemade tasting hamburger. So I'm excited about this. And it's holding together very nicely. Except for all the cornstarch in the... Yeah. But it's sh 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't have to poke it with toothpicks is what oh, I'm trying to say. Uh, right. <laughs> I think it's good to go. Let's try this out. <laughs> nice. It's a good impact. It's a deep impact. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah, do it like it. All right. Like, I mean, once you get it in the deep fryer, the batter holds on really nicely. It's just getting to that point. That's the problem. Yeah. The non-Newtonian fluids. Right? <laughs> Fuck you, Newt. 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 No, Newton's good. Because we want, we want Newtonian fluids. Hide our shame here. Mmm, <laughs> croutons. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little bit of ranch oh, yeah. on there. Ranch. <laughs> Sadness sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's the official condiment of shame. Yeah, seriously. Put it on combos. Put it on your watermelon. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh, that thing looks... Yeah, that Ooh. looks tempura as shit. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, dude, that's pretty. That's a thing. That's pretty. A. Mm hmm. Here we go. Nice little corner. Let's try this out. Hopefully. Mm. It has an excellent crunch to it. You know what's standing out to me, strangely enough, is like the powder they put on the outside of the bun, the the flour and the cornmeal or whatever. I'm kind of getting that in the tongue texture. But the flavors of the patty and everything on the inside really stands up. We deep fried Sonic burgers and the burger itself just had no flavor to stand up to the battering. Whereas this, Stands up very nicely. You're not gonna write home from the, from the, you know, the war, being like, dearest mother, I finally have the deep fried horribles. It was amaze balls, <laughs> forever yours, your son. Uh, no, you're just gonna be like, hey, bro, that's pretty goddamn good. So it's a check. Doesn't reach check plus. Just because I think by itself the burger stands up enough that like, you know what, just eat the burger. That Wibbly's burger is pretty goddamn good. The burger was good before, but like, I don't know, like having that weird crunch on the outside of it, it to me kind of like steps it up just that, that notch. Like the bacon, Strangely, like, cooked. Oh, man, I forgot. I like forgot. I didn't even get a piece of bacon. Yeah, like, it, it's almost like more like a piece of ham now. Since it's been, like, double cooked. Decent sauce on it and stuff. And the pickles are really good. I kind of agree with Pink. How, like, the burger itself was just... It's a good product anyway. And I can't say that this made it that much better. But it definitely didn't, uh... Sorry. <clears throat> it didn't make it worse. So I'm going to agree with him. Uh, we're going to give it a check. And I do a great job seasoning that burger. Yeah, there's a ton of flavor in there. Mm -hmm. I honestly really like it a lot. Um, the difference between having it fried and deep fried, it's not, yeah, it's not the hugest difference in the world. Um, but 
There is enough, like, mayo and stuff in here to sort of make the bun, you know, like, I'm, I'm not trying to say it's soggy or nothing, but it, it, it does have a lot to maintain, you know, to, to keep a, keep its head above water, if, if uh, it makes any sense. So when you put the extra crispiness on the outside, that definitely saves it from, like, a soggy bun. And I like that. So I'm giving this one a check plus. Um, I still think that... You know, the integrity of the burger itself didn't change a ton. Um, it still tastes like the great burger I had not long ago. Um, I just like the additional uh, crunch on the outside and the extra seasoning. I'm a salty boy, what can I say? <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this Deep Friday. Today we had Wibblies. Do you have Wibblies in your area? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you like. And remember to like comment and subscribe. Check out all of our social deets and check me out over on twitter.tv. Wait, there's a slash in there too somewhere. Yeah. We'll let you find out. It's a mystery. <laughs> yes. Go forth, my children. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.